Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Amen. Just want to talk to you tonight for a little bit. Got something I want to talk to you about. Amen. Just doing a quick live for everybody having a blessed evening. Thank God for you all. Just come on in and like and share the broadcast for me. Amen. We're going to be talking out of Quran, uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 3 and verses 7 through 8. In my studies tonight, uh, as I've been preparing in the Word uh, for some ministry, the Lord began to speak to me about something out of 2 Chronicles. I want to just talk to you in two verses and really just break this down for you to give you some... And there is a spirit... A man that has been attacking the people of God um, and it's assassinating spirit it's a spirit that causes us to want to give up back down not advance so I want to talk tonight out of uh, second Chronicles chapter 32 and I'm gonna read verse 7 through 8 and I'm not going to be long on here we thank God for you coming on in Amen. Again, I just want to just bless you. Something that the Lord dropped in my spirit. Now, we have to be very careful as we pursue God and be strategically watchful on how the enemy tries to get us to back up and come off our posts or to distract us or deter us to a point where we completely lose focus on what really matters. Amen. And it can be very, uh, very, very, very obvious uh, when you see things that the enemy is doing, when you see yourself slipping back into old ways, when you see yourself not praying like you should or not going after God like you should or in your word or you don't really have a heart for the things of God or it just becomes the same old, same old everyday routine. There's something I want to talk to you about called the Assyrian spirit. And I want to talk to you about what that does. I bless you tonight. Let me just share something that God, this is very important, something that God just put on my heart as I was preparing in the word. Um, so let's talk tonight. Let's talk tonight. Blessing to your sister Henrietta. Let's talk tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all come on in. Prophet Sarah, bless you tonight. Amen. So in let's go to Second Chronicles chapter 32. And I am going to read verses 7 through 8 it says be strong and courageous do not be afraid or dismayed before the king of Assyria nor before all watch this now note that he's talking to the king or about the king of Assyria okay nor before all the multitude that is with him for there are more with us than there are with him. I want us to make note in that in 2 Chronicles chapter 32. The Bible says that there was more his army and his camp than it was with the Assyrian army. Okay. Verse 8 says with him is an arm of flesh. But with us is the Lord our God to help us to fight our battles. And the people were strengthened by the words of Hezekiah, the king of Judah. So I want us to understand what was going on in this battle, okay? And as you begin to advance in prayer and advance in what God has for your life and you begin to move into your destiny, you begin to make faith moves, you begin to step out on faith, trusting God that he has your life 
in his hands. Uh, you're praying, you're, you're doing the things that you need to do to grow in him. Be careful of this spirit, this spirit. Uh, this Assyrian spirit is what it's called. And I want to talk tonight. I'm just going to break down a few things. Amen. So the king of Assyria's name was Sennacherib. I want us to understand that. Okay. In, in 2 Chronicles 32, his name was Sennacherib. Okay. Make a note of that. Because, watch this now. Sennacherib was one of the kings that brought destruction in the lives of the people he was the king that was assigned to bring disaster to nations okay no one could advance with Sennacherib in in position because the Assyrians they were always advancing trying to obtain territory and take away from what God's people were promised okay so in the in the text hezekiah was encouraging his people telling them okay don't worry about the assault and the attack that's coming against us because we have god on our side and we have to understand as the people of god that no matter what type of onslaught the devil tries to bring against you we have to know that god is on our side and that he is fighting the battle for us all right so watch this Okay, now Sennacherib, okay, it means bramble of destruction. I want you to take another note of that, okay? The Assyrian's king that was bringing destruction against Hezekiah and the people, his name was Sennacherib, and it means bramble of destruction, okay? This is a spirit that uses power and position to oppress God's people. I want you to hear me tonight, okay? The Bible declares that we are the apple of our Father's eye, that we are royal priesthood, that we are a chosen nation. And because we are a chosen nation, the demonic forces that's trying to come against us, is a, is, it is a assaulting spirit, okay? It is a strategic warfare that the enemy is trying to play and plan against the people of God to try to get us to back up and come off our post or to give up so that we don't walk into our promise. All right. Now watch me. The Assyrian spirit works through threats. Okay. It tries to assassinate your ministry, your marriage, your physical body, it tries to assassinate your relationships with your family. It comes to destroy unity and, and divine connections, okay? It tries to sabotage your destiny. So King Sennacherib, uh, the Assyrian king, was on an assignment to get the people of God to cause Hezekiah and the people not to walk into their prophetic promise from God, all right? And we have to understand that as the body of Christ and as the people of God, not to get faint and not to give in. When we feel emotionally overwhelmed, when we start feeling physically tired, when we start sensing and experiencing confusion all around us, when things start happening that never has happened before or things out of the ordinary begins to come against you or and begins to pose threats to your life you have to understand that is an assaulting spirit of the enemy trying to get God's people to back down so what God is doing he's raising up intercessors right now that's going to decree and declare that's going to war spiritually in the heavenlies to come against every demonic assault that he's trying to throw against us God wants us to be in position as watchmen on the wall. We have to be very careful, ladies and gentlemen, that we stay in a place of prayer, more so spiritual warfare, okay? Because the Assyrian spirit, amen, is trying to get us to uh, relinquish our legal right by God on what he promised us, whether it's your blessing, your favor, your promotion, your advancement, your career advancement. He'll try to get you to give up on your dreams, your visions, whatever it is. 
okay so i want us to be uh, aware of the demonic warfare that's coming against us even in this very hour okay the bible says no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper okay and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment is already condemned so watch this okay in jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 the bible declares that now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present you faultless before his presence of his glory with exceeding joy okay god is anointing us in this hour and that anointing is going to present you faultless in the eyes of god before your enemies that means that every advancement and everything that the enemy tries to do strategically against you whether he's trying to come against your career or whatever it is that you're believing god for the bible says as you begin to pray and intercede your prayers are going to go into the heavenlies war in the spirit and it's going to present you faultless that means that the enemy will never have an advancement against you he won't be able to bring an accusation against you he won't be able to uh, go before god in the court of heaven to make accusations as the accuser of the brethren because warfare prayers is needed right now ladies and gentlemen we have to make sure that we stay in a place of prayer bind the spirit of Sennacherib it is an Assyrian spirit okay that wars to destroy the lives of God's people all right I want y'all to take note of that all right so watch this if you want to defeat your enemy you got to get into the presence of the Lord okay you have to get into the presence of the Lord Hezekiah was telling the people no matter what you see there's more working for us than against us he told the people to remain in a place of rest and peace and have confidence that what God was doing for them that he was that he would make it good and we have to believe God that no matter what report we get no matter what we see going on in our nation no matter what we experience in our personal lives we have to know and rest assured that God is working things out for us there's more working for you beloved than it is against you come on somebody and you have to understand that in this hour and have confidence in God all right hallelujah now watch this watch this God bless you all coming on tonight come on now watch this Hezekiah told the people of Judah here it is in verse 7 he says there are more with us than with him okay he reminded them exactly what they needed to hear and I'm coming to prophesy and to declare to you today that there are angels working things out on your behalf you may not be able to see what's going on you may not be able to feel what's going on you may not be able to sense what's going on but God's angels are warring on your behalf in the heavenlies and everything that you're believing God for and everything that you need God to do we got to have confidence that things are working out amen we're going to see God advance us you're going to see God move you forward in this season you're going to see God perform the very miracle that you're believing him to do in your life you have to have confidence as you begin to pray trust God that the Word of God is working things out in the heavenlies amen as you decree a thing the Bible says that it will be established that means that whatever is coming against your destiny the Word of God has to check it it has to challenge it and it has to bring it down amen so you rest assured today that everything that you need God to do God will do it he told the people that God was with them and I want to prophesy to some people tonight that if God be for you who can be against you I don't care what is what has came against you 
I don't care where you are in your life. I don't care what's going on, whether it's debt, financial issues, physical issues, emotional issues, family issues. If God be for you, who can be against you? And these, this spirit of the Assyrian, of Sennacherib that has been trying to war against you and your house. God says today, we bind this demon in the name of Jesus. We command this spirit to loose his hold on you and your entire family, your destiny, and your career. Hallelujah. You will advance forward because Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner, is fighting on your behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I want to encourage somebody tonight, amen, that's listening to me on this live. As God began to speak to me tonight, he just said, you know what? This is the spirit that we as the intercessors need to begin to pray against. It is the spirit of Sennacherib. And a lot of us in the body of Christ don't know this, okay? The, the, the plan of the enemy. He knows that he can't stop us. In, 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 in 2 Chronicles 32, Okay, Sennacherib tried everything possible to stop King Hezekiah and, and, his, and his, his truth and the people of God. But Hezekiah knew because he had a covenant with God, he understood how God moved. He knew who God was. He said, God is going to fight this for us. And I want to encourage you today, beloved. God is going to fight for you. Whatever it is you need God to do, hear me tonight. God is going to fight for you. Now watch this. Many of us need to know that when we get into a battle, don't be afraid. Okay? Don't be afraid. Okay? 1 John 4 and 4 says, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Okay? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells on the inside of you. You carry something that's greater than anything you face in this world. And because God is living on the inside, greater is he than he that is in this world. And no matter what's going on in this world, you carry something that's greater than what we're seeing in this world. And this is the reason why this Caesarean spirit is trying to get you to back up. Because you carry the answer to what our society needs. You carry the promise to what our brothers and sisters are looking for. You are the one that God has called and chosen for such a time as this. Don't back down from the enemy's attacks. Don't back down from the plan and the assault of your adversary. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. And he's anointing you with oil and with fire and with power to perform everything that he's calling you to do in this season. Amen. So I want everybody, if you just go back and study 2 Chronicles chapter 32. Amen. Let me just give you a little bit more. As the Lord began to speak to me as I was studying, preparing, amen, for ministry, he said in verse 8, watch this. He said, and the devil... He has to use a body to do his bidding. Okay. Now in verse eight, it said the arm of the flesh was with Sennacherib, but God was with his people. What the devil is trying to do now against the body of Christ and against the people, he's using flesh. He can only do so much because his arm of flesh can only go do so much damage, okay? But we got the king of glory on our side. We got the king of kings and the Lord of lords on our side. And God is working for us. So we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be frustrated. We don't have to fret over what the enemy is doing in our society because he can only go so far. He can only do so much. He can only use so many people before the Lord God Almighty pulls him down to nothing. Come on, somebody. You got to understand what I'm talking about tonight. Watch this. So the devil uses a body to do his bidding. All right. He uses someone to come against you or he will use 
you against your own self. Watch this. So we have to understand that when we allow the enemy to use us in our flesh, we are actually fighting against our own destiny. And the devil, what he's doing, because he, all right, you have to understand not to allow the enemy to play you against your own self. So we got to separate ourselves from the flesh. All right. We got to come out of agreement with the works of the flesh. We have to make sure we stay in a place of consecration. Watch this now. So I come to declare today, in the name of Jesus, Father, that your people will be elevated into the things of your spirit, that your people will move with demonstration and power. That your people, Lord, will find wholeness, spirit, soul, and body. God, that our minds will be fortified, resolute. Oh, God, our emotions will become sound and stable. I thank you today that every demonic attack against your people is stopped in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare right now, Father, that every demonic onslaught, every spirit that is attacking the body of Christ, our family, and our children's, we decree in the name of Jesus that it stops today. We got to believe by faith, beloved. Believe by faith. Come into agreement. He says if two come into agreement, two can put 10,000 demons to flight. All I need is one other person that got faith that can come into agreement with me today under the sound of my voice. And let's do some things. Let's put the devil to flight today. He's done enough. It's time to serve him an eviction notice. It's time to drive him back to hell from which he came. Amen. Now watch this. I'm just going to give you a little bit more. Because I'm telling you, as I was studying, I came across this text. And the Lord began to just revelate and speak to me through prayer on what the plan of the enemy is. The Bible says that that he will give us an anointing of the sons of Ishakar so we can discern the times and seasons. Amen. We need discernment so that we can see what the enemy is doing so we know how to dismantle him. Okay? And it says, Hezekiah told them to be still. Somebody just say, be still and rest in God. Yeah. God is calling us to be still and rest in him. When you pray... And you declare, amen, and you walk in your apostolic authority when you're walking in dominion the way God commanded and commissioned you to, you're going to see sweatless victory. I never said that the battle or the weapon wouldn't form. We said that it won't prosper. Amen. You're going to see things come up and you may experience and feel things. But I come to tell you, even though the weapon is formed, it will not prosper prosper.